Welcome back, viewers. Um, while you guys were out texting your ex and watching Beyonce videos, I was actually out here working. Um, I've gone over the whole wheel with some 2000 grit paper, um, mainly just so I could look it over, make sure there were no dings that I missed. Um, there actually was one, but it was not very deep. Luckily, I was able to send that one out. Um, I've already pre-shaken my paint using the everything but the jerk method. Um, to anybody who is just joining us, you should probably go back and watch video one because I've already, uh, you're, you're gonna be lost. And isn't this fun? Everybody who has been watching, we've already got two inside jokes, the jerk method and Beyonce. <laughs> So, now that this paint's shaken, we are ready to paint black. Now, same thing as earlier, I like to go around the outside first. But those index cards do their job. Where we paint for you for index cards. And also, inside. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention just a second ago is that I did wash it again with water and went over it again with that paint prep before I did this before I put the cards in and make sure it's nice and dry as well um, so you'll see my method here that might look like a long like a heavy coat but it's really pretty light you can still see the gray through the paint I'm gonna do that all the way around make sure you hit it at different angles um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the next two, three, maybe even four coats, whatever it takes to make sure it's all coated, and I'll be back. Okay, so I got a light, and I went all around, double-checked for any spots I might have missed, um, and I've just applied the final coat. So now, the best thing, and I'm fighting a windstorm here, you can see it's blowing my cards all over the place. Now the best thing to do is wait that full half hour. Timer's beeping. That means that we're ready. I tell you what, that was felt like the longest half hour of my life. So here's what we're doing. Yeah, it's really hard. Oh, there you go. You can see that. Um, it's just like kind of overspray. You can see it looks like two different color of paint, really. Um, when I did the first wheel, I was freaking out. I'm like, what the heck? How do I even fix that? How do I? I tried different coats. I tried different ways to try and fix it. <laughs> while painting and finally I just figured I was going to have to try something else. Uh, so what we're going to do is go over it with this 3000 grit paper. I bought a whole thing but I cut them down. Um, and what, what happens is you go over it and you'll notice that it starts to blend. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. Just really lightly um, you with this 3000 grit you've got it's very forgiving you're not gonna get a lot it's more like just like buffing it but you can't really tell but what happens is it starts to get kind of dull the whole wheel will get dull and at first you're thinking gosh now I gotta paint this again but don't worry at least with this satin black that I'm using um, it gets nice and dull or not nice and dull it gets scarily dull and then you put the clear coat over it and it brings the color right out. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over this whole thing. I'm gonna go at different angles. So I'll actually like take steps around here, just make sure that I don't miss anything. There's gonna be, there's a little bit of orange peel in a few spots and that's just kind of from the overspray too. Um, again, don't worry about that. Just go over it um, thoroughly with uh, sandpaper. Uh, worst case scenario, you might have to do another coat of black or whatever your color is, but I, I doubt it. I This is my third wheel. Um, the first two, I didn't have to. Uh, but just make sure you take your time. Make sure you get every angle because this is the this is the moment of truth here. Everybody's got that friend who you're standing around with all your other friends and they're like, oh man, that looks really good. What an awesome wheel, dude. Did you do that? Oh, you did a really good job. I couldn't do that. And then here comes Mark. My, the friend the friend I have named Mark. And he comes stumbling over. And within seconds says, What's that? Look at that run. So, 
Take your time. Keep yourself from running into Mark and having Mark point out every single flaw that you made in this. P.S. Mark, I love you. He's Okay, I'll be back when it's time to clear coat. All right, so the first stage of uh, the 3000 grip, I'm gonna call it buffing, is done. So now what I'm gonna do, uh, so you do, you do the buffing, uh, dry it off, and then look around and you'll see, it's kind of like the very first step where we search and destroy. So you're gonna find little shiny spots like that. You can see how the whole wheel got dull, but that's okay. Um, that's actually what we were going for. So I'm just gonna go through, go around very carefully with a light and search and destroy because what's gonna happen is you don't do that, you're gonna get in the sunlight and then you're gonna find every single one of those flaws um, where the color didn't blend. So I'm gonna do that stage or that step and uh, then we should be ready for clear coat the next time. Uh, except for I am forgetting, uh, make sure after you've gone over it completely with a fine comb, maybe even a magnifying glass, and cleaned up everything, any flaw you find, um, make sure you clean it with water again, look it over one more time, and then uh, clean it with the, print, the paint prep, uh, the degreaser, wax remover, whatever you want to call it. Okay, it took several tries, but I finally got it. Um, I just cleaned it with the paint prep so you'll see a little bit of shiny spots. That's just got to evaporate, see? Um, so the best, the biggest thing, look, my even my uh, tape on the valve stem gave up, but I didn't, so just make sure you don't give up. Um, don't get discouraged. It does take a few tries of um, you get it up. As you wet sand it, of course, it gets a little bit dirty, um, and then you got to clean it and dry it, and it takes a few times doing that. I think I probably did it five times, maybe even six times, I should have counted, um, before I finally got satisfied with the, the paint being blended while we're at it and while we're talking about this. Um, so this, I'm, I've been going over it with the 2000 grit. Just be careful. Make sure you don't push too hard as you're doing it, and don't go too far off to the sides because that run is thicker than anywhere else around here. So you wanna make sure you concentrate mainly on that run. Um, I'm only doing it with a 2000 grit, that way I can see if I go too far. And then I'm gonna, and then you gotta buff it out with the 3000 grit. So take your time on that. You don't wanna go down past that, uh, the main level of paint. And just smooth out any runs you might have. It looks like that is it. Um, and you'll actually you'll be able to watch it. See, so you can already, you can already tell uh, that it's already going down. Um, so what you want to do with that 2000 grit is you'll get it to where it's a pretty to where it's almost gone. But don't get it all the way down with the 2000 grit because you then you have to buff it out after that. So get it to where it's almost gone and then buff it out with the 3000 grit and you shouldn't go through the paint. Um, if you do, then you're in trouble. You're going to have to put another coat of paint on there. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Alright, so I'm finally ready for clear coat. Um, as you can see, it's dark outside. Breaking my own rule here. But I'm a victim of circumstance. Good things take time, right? So now the clear is no different than anything else, except I have noticed it doesn't take as many coats. Now, super careful you don't get runs. You'll be fixing them too when we're in the last stage, so. That's the last time the you know, we really don't want to get runs now. We're almost home free. You see that I don't hold it in one place for too long. And it's hard to pick up with the camera, but that really really cleans it up. 
and of course it's a little bit wet so it's a little shinier than it's getting up as but that's basically what your finished product is well it's dark out um, I'm gonna show you this on the on the car but since it's dark I just brought it inside so you can check out the finished product um, see it all blended really nicely and that satin black is just kind of a it, you don't got to worry about the matte clear making it dull the, it's gonna just bring out the natural satin black and that I didn't want my wheels to be too shiny but I didn't want them to be matte black I don't why does anybody I don't ugh, I don't understand the matte black trend that has been going on uh, it's the worst in, in my opinion but um, I also didn't want them too shiny from the factory you can get the wheels um, black on this exact I mean this exact same wheel is black from the factory um, but they the, but Dodge does them super shiny I don't like that look very much I really like the satin I'm super excited about the way this turns out I've got one more wheel to do um, now a real painter would take and buff the clear coat which I probably will at some point once they're all done once all four of them are done um, and I can actually do that on the car maybe I'll do a video on that too I don't know stay tuned but uh, we'll be back in just a minute uh, I've got to wait still 24 minutes before I really want to be handling this wheel um, and then we'll just install it on the car and just so you know I did leave the cap off um, I don't really want to handle that and jam it in there until tomorrow I just want to give it a good 24 hours to cure um, and I would also be doing myself a great disservice if I didn't say it. make sure you use a torque wrench and torque your lug nuts to manufacturers specifications and it's also going to be super tempting to uh, want to shine your tires